The man who killed George Floyd was a veteran. If you're wondering why this is important, I'm going to tell you why this is crucial. Because when I see this image, I only see one thing. Of course, there's George Floyd begging for his life and dying. There's also the police officers being hypocrite, pretending that they're not aware that they are killing someone, essentially. Hypocrisy, right? But in the end, the one thing that I see is not just hypocrisy, but it is fear. George Floyd is afraid. Derek Fisher is afraid. All the police officers around are afraid. Why? Because fear is the biggest enemy known to mankind. But fear is also a gift. Fear is a gift because it's the energy that fuel our self-actualization. It's when we conquer our fears that we actually self-actualize. Or when we give ourselves new life experiences. But we give ourselves new life experiences only when we conquer our fears or when it happens by accident. So fear is actually a gift for our self-actualization, which is the purpose of life. Because that's how we achieve happiness, success, fulfillment, money. We discover our gifts, our talents, our purpose. We can give a direction to our life. We can, we can have a sense of a vision, a purpose. All of these things come through self-actualization and knowing who we are. And fear is the energy that helps us do that when we know how to handle it. Right? Because all of the challenges that veterans are facing, like connecting with yourself and with others or with society, the sentiment of lack of balance, the challenges finding a job or transferring your military skills into the civilian world. All of these challenges are all tied to the way we process our fears and the way we process our fates. Because in the end, there are only two emotions, fears and faith. They govern our thought, our emotion, and our behavior, which are the only three things that human beings can do. Thinking from our mind, having emotion from our soul, and having a, a behavior with our body, including our body language. Now, how do we eradicate fears to make sure they don't sabotage us in our life? Because we only have two emotions, as I, as I was saying, Fears is the energy behind all our negative emotions. Hypocrisy, hate, anger. That's why if we look deep enough in all of the things that we hate, in the end we will find that all the things that we hate is actually because we are afraid of them. On the other side, faith is the opposite. All the positive emotions come from faith or emotions that arrive from faith. Text love, for instance. If you are in a relationship and your partner is cheating on you, you're going to tell them you're not faithful to me because faith is love, right? These two emotions govern everything in our life. When we know how to manage them, that's when we can achieve happiness, success, fulfillment. And to do that, we need to master our mindset. We need to master ourselves and we need to master our own destiny. That is the only way. All the successful people in the universe, from Warren Buffett to Gandhi, all of these successful people have these same things in common. The only thing they know how to do is to manage their fears and turn them into faith. That is the only thing we have to do in life to achieve everything we want. That's it. We have created a two-hour masterclass to describe to you how all of this is working so that you can gain awareness. This is gonna transform your life. It's free, you can click on the link below and check it out for yourself. So if you are a veteran who is looking for a direction, passion, purpose, and all other things that we want to achieve in civilian life, you wanna make sure you watch this masterclass because it's going to transcend and transform you and your life. So click on the link below and I look forward to seeing you in the masterclass. Thank you.